Adding Bluetooth to an older car usually involves putting in a glittery aftermarket radio or maybe using an FM modulator, which isn't always the cleanest install. It either suffers from interference or it can have wires hanging out. So what we figured out is in radios like these, which are found in cars from the early 90s until the mid 2000s, which have a separate cassette and separate CD or a separate tuner and separate cassette that share a line in between them, we can hack them. And the way we're gonna hack this one is we're gonna simulate the cassette playing but instead we're going to feed our own signal on the two wires that are coming in and what we're going to use is the simple bluetooth adapter that basically has power and ground going to it and just the left and right signal and the way we're going to simulate it is we're going to tap into the wiring that's going from the cassette player to the cd player here and we're going to install a button that simulates a cassette being inserted so the radio knows to switch to the input so we're gonna start here in this Miata by taking out the CD player and the cassette player. And this will vary from car to car, but in our case, it's just a couple of tools to slide it out. Once we take it out, we're gonna take the harness from the back of the radio and take it to the bench. Luckily, in our case, the inputs and outputs have already been identified by forum members on Miata.net, so we don't have to hunt for it. But if they haven't been identified, what you can do is you can play the cassette or whatever the secondary device is and tap into the wires to listen to find where your signal wires are and then use a multimeter to find out where the wire is that activates the secondary device. So we're going to go ahead and take this out and then we'll start with attaching our Bluetooth device and soldering it in. So we took our cassette player out and we took the cable here that connects the cassette player to the CD player. So this is our interface cable and the one we're going to be working on. A couple of these wires in this pack are our signal wires and then we have an activation wire and a ground. So what we're going to do next is we're going to look at our diagram and tap into these so we can connect our Bluetooth module in. We have our soldering iron warming up. While that's getting warm, we're gonna go ahead and strip off some of this insulation here so we can get access to the wires that we need. We've printed out a copy of our wiring diagram which we'll throw up on the screen now so we can follow it. Once that's stripped back, we're gonna go ahead and solder in the signal wires for the Bluetooth module. And now that we've got these opened up, we are spreading them out to identify which one is which. So in the case of the Miata, what we're going to connect are A, B, and C for the Bluetooth module from this connector here. So that's A, B, and C. And because we're doing a direct connection, we're going to go ahead and cut off the RCA connectors and solder them on directly. And the helpful tip, which we just almost messed up, is to pay attention to which one you're cutting off. Because I cut these off and threw these to the side and then almost lost the place of which one is the right and which one is the left. Luckily, I cut one just slightly longer. So the longer wire here ended up being the black one. So I'm gonna go ahead and strip that one and continue. Once you strip these connectors, what you're gonna have is uh, two somewhat thin wires. One's gonna be surrounding the other one, and what you're gonna do is split them. And when you split them, what you'll notice on most of these connectors is the one that was surrounding is the ground, and the one that's actually producing the sound for the channel is inside the insulation. So this one's ready to go here for the ground, and the one that's producing the sound will need to be stripped further. And we're going to give ourselves just a little more length 
So we're gonna go ahead and strip this down just a bit longer. On this connector, these are a bit th thin and finicky, so you have to be careful not to break the wire. And there we have it, we have it stripped, and as you can notice, it is fairly thin. And this is going to be our left channel, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at our diagram, and we're going to see that our left channel is going to go to pin C and then we're going to cross reference that down here and what we're going to find out for this specific connector is that pin C is the second one in the top row from the right. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this in the middle so we can put some uh, heat shrink on it and then we're going to solder it on. And you might notice some braiding here on these wires and that's on purpose. That is to prevent interference. And while we are going to directly connect this, if we do get some interference after we're done, we may end up adding some more braiding. So now that we have that set up, we're going to merge these two wires together. So we have our Bluetooth wire module that goes to our left channel now being merged to the left channel input that goes into this harness. And we're just going to tie these two back in together. And now that they're tied in back in together, we're going to go ahead and solder them. And as you may notice, our heat shrink fell off, so make sure that doesn't happen. Since that happened here, we'll just do some electrical tape for this specific wire. But that one is done for now, so we can move on to the next one here basically is we're going to repeat the same process for the other channel. I've left this ground off for now specifically because we're going to combine the two ground wires from each channel and then solder them on to the B connector which is down here in the bottom which is this in our specific case is this black and white wire so we're going to go ahead and get moving on that. So I went ahead and combined the grounds from the two signal wires and then tapped into this black and white wire here, which is our signal ground per our diagram. And I was able to heat shrink the other signal wire and this one we're just gonna tape up. So we've got our signal wires hooked up here. Uh, each of these, at least in our case, goes to these two green and yellow wires. And then we have a ground wire that's this black and white wire. So the two signal wires, the grounds from them are combined, as you can see here, going into this one. And then the only thing we have left is to basically insulate all this here. And then for our Bluetooth module, we have power and ground. So for our ground, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just stick a terminal on here and basically just find the metal spot behind the dash to connect it to. And for our power, we're gonna find the nearby source. So you can use a cigarette lighter, or you can just tap into the radio. So in our case, it's easiest to tap into the radio. The only other thing left is the activation signal. So we have two wires down in here that basically need to be connected in order to activate the line input. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some wire, we're gonna solder it to those two wires, and then we're gonna stick just some female connectors on it, which will allow us to plug it into a switch and we're going to mount a switch somewhere on the dash that's kind of out of the way and just to make it so it doesn't get hit all the time but so that it can be hit when we want to turn bluetooth on
Here we have our Bluetooth module, the signal wires going to our signals, and we have uh, the two switch on wires which will wire to a switch. And what we have left is our ground, which we put a lug on so we can connect it to one of the bolts back here. And we have power. And uh, what would be most optimal would be to just solder this in, but because it's so tight here, we're just going to use one of these crimp connects, which should be just fine for this situation. So we've gone ahead and disconnected the battery and what we're doing here is we just cut the 12 volt wire which we've identified so we're going to go ahead and strip it and then combine it with our others So we just got our radio loosely plugged in here. We have our module grounded here and of course the plug we just crimped. And we have our, our button here, the switch that's going to turn the Bluetooth on and off. So we're just going to do a quick test before we start putting anything back. So our radio is turned on and it's on our FM right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the switch and it appears that it's accepting a signal because it's showing line. If we hit the switch again, it shuts it off. So we're gonna go ahead and leave it online there for a second. And I'm gonna take out my phone and try to connect to the Bluetooth. All right, and our Bluetooth is showing up. This specific device shows up as MILBRTC and what we're gonna do is we are just going to try and play a quick sound which we'll turn down for now and all right so uh, john klein is in the house yo yo hello What's so we're up? just gonna and hit a little uh, podcast yeah. here that won't give us a copyright a take down day. I, I've done and a as you can see i did four car podcast is playing morning. through the That's radio awesome. busy day how is your sound and we're gonna go ahead and shut that off for now. So since everything is working, what we're gonna do in our case here is we're gonna route this switch into the glove box. And uh, we looked and we might add it here later on, but since we didn't wanna cut any panels, we'll just hide it in the glove box since it's pretty reachable here. And then start packing all this back up. And once we do it, we'll do a final follow-up. Together and visually there is no difference. So everything's kind of seamless. Uh, for now, we've stuck our button in here in the glove box and uh, we'll go ahead and do a one final test run. It's gonna say line and as if you look back here, you'll see the antenna going down as it switches to line. And since we're on line now, I am going to go ahead and make sure I'm connected on Bluetooth and it shows our MIL device connected and for a test 
we'll just play a sample of a podcast. We rolled up in a, in a fake A8. Yeah, it's dope actually. And it's really comfortable. Is that a G, G90? Yeah, this is G90. It's the big motor too. It's the, well, and you the can big see the motor. podcast playing the 5 liter V8. No, 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 they got rid of the 5 liter. If I hit the Bluetooth yeah. button, it'll shut it off and it'll switch us back to AM FM. And that's it. And you can place this button somewhere else if it's more convenient for you. We decided just to stick it here to have it out of the way, but we might move it down here just because it might be a better option, but we're done.